Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. It's JP from My Memory Garden. I hope everybody's having a blessed Tuesday. I was going to do a video after we got some plants in, but I am just not able to hold energy in today, guys. I have had sugar. I have had a full meal. I have had everything. And even with the breeze that we have out here, it is such a hot day here in Maine that it's been sucking the energy right out of me. So I decided that as much as I like to get some plants in, get them all ready for the water we're going to get tomorrow. And you guys know I got plenty of them. I haven't gotten anything in since I last showed you guys new plants because frankly, I haven't had the time. I have way too many things to do and not enough time to do them in. That's the way it goes. That's why after this, even if anybody invites me to get plants, I ain't going anywhere near them. I will not have the time. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you the blooms and the things that are coming back, things that have gone by, and then we're going to call it a day. So here's the blanket flowers, guys. They are coming back. They're coming back with a vengeance. Now I've been pulling weeds today too. I've been doing some mowing. I am just like totally wiped out. I, um, I cannot muster up energy today. Oh, that's terrible. Utterly terrible. You suck. You suck, you poor little thing who can't get any sunlight. That's why I was doing all that. Now, here's a fun one, guys. And yes, I've got weeds galore. The weather has been terrible for growing weeds and grass. It's been absolutely abysmal, and there's not a whole lot I can do about it. So, now we think what was supposed to be lavender here, guys, might have been something else. I don't remember what, but we do think it's something else, and I'm going to let it grow in because it does look nice and pretty. So we're gonna let it grow in um but the good thing is we got some new lavender over here instead so along with the blanket flowers growing in guys which get a good eye on those because blanket flowers didn't have a good year this year they might not come back next year we're gonna hope the little area they're in um the blackberry lilies are finally blooming they're looking pretty nice um they're much like their namesake uh, a lot of lilies tend to be very limited so pardon me guys for a second Whew, I had to get my breath back after um, coming up uh, because talking and then coming up off the ground like that was giving me a bad head rush. So, um, but yeah, day lilies and other lilies don't tend to last very long. So, uh, the little blossoms coming on that haven't lasted very long either. Now, over here, guys, um, I got some mowing done. Everything's looking pretty nice, um, except that I gotta, I gotta come through here with a some kind of some kind of killer, grass killer, like you wouldn't believe. Because much like over at Jeff and Debbie's, it's getting bad now. So now the color is starting to come in. The bees are loving. A lot of other bugs are loving this, but the bees are particularly loving what you guys know as my autumn fire sedum. It's looking very nice. Uh, we did get in here, guys, and we did get some stuff in here now. Um, we had some blooms coming back on a lot of the like last minute things. We had a bloom coming back on this, the Gloxinia guys, it came and went, but you can see where it's trying to still grow some new ones. It was recommended to me. I cut them and not let them grow. So it'll put all the energy into the roots. I might listen to the person that told me that these are called evening primrose guys. There's no blooms on them right now because the wind and everything blew them off, but there'll probably be new blooms before we know it. It's a it's a type of wild growing flower, but it's pretty. And then even though it's very hot on the front lawn, guys, we're gonna go take a look at anything that's looking very nice on that, and then we're gonna go around back. Over there, to my knowledge, there's nothing going on. And I want to show you guys some of the new plants that we would have put in today if I had the energy. Even with the breeze up, I just cannot seem to, I cannot seem to hold energy in for long. I just had some chocolate covered blueberry, a, uh, a she, a she and blueberries, I guess, mixed together in a chocolate coating. They were really yummy. And the thing is, is that as yummy as they were, they, I just, I, I just can't. I'm, I, every time I go around and do enough. I immediately get hungry and get wiped out again and I think it's just because the wind is nice but the sun is still beating down and the energy is still being sucked out of me by the sunlight now I've seen a trove of caterpillars out here today too guys the reason we're looking at this is because this is getting bigger guys this is my red bud the leaves that it's using and getting ready for hibernation are gorgeous they're really big like lily pads and it's definitely with the way it looks going to be prepared for winter now i'd like to try to straighten this out and do some stuff with it but i think it would only break the branch so here's a hoping it'll stay like that we won't have problems i still got to cut all these back on this 
everything as you guys can see the grass overtook most of the plants that were towards the ground i have so many things to do it's not even funny now we did see something interesting guys these little blooms here i don't believe those are um i don't believe those are weeds they're definitely not they are some of our mint our mint did come up i would imagine if it was over here it was part of our orange mint could have been pineapple mint we did put it over there now me and my mother were convinced something was going to bloom in here um now these nice wild white flowers here i don't i forget what they're called but they're pretty i'm gonna leave them in there i don't know what this is gonna bloom into i've been leaving it here it's not something i planted at least i don't think so same with this i don't know what it's gonna bloom into so we're gonna keep our eye on it hey check it out guys the um oh what is it coreopsis it did come back that's great i didn't even know that until i just walked over here at the same time our neon bee bomb has gone by guys lots of stuff coming going left or right to side to side look at all these guys these were our clematis look at how they're in a different kind of bloom and they're getting ready to spore yeah we had to let the really loud truck go by uh everything's looking very nice over here guys oh very nice we did get the spurea uh, no, wait, is this Spria or Verbanium? I think this is Spria, if I'm not mistaken, guys. Let me double check. It is Spria. Okay, and it's doing really well on its second blooms. It said it might. Um, not much else, guys, really showing anything, except I want to show you guys this. This is nuts. This is our Heliopsis, fake sunflower. This thing just exploded with blooms i didn't even see it coming i i go by it all the time i didn't even see the blooms for it it exploded with blooms it just did great the bee bomb's trying to come back but i think it's too late for it to get any blooms so it'll probably just put its energy into next year and that's fine enough it shows that moving it was the right choice um here's our beard tongue guys which i got some nasty root i mean uh, weed right next to it doing really good really pretty uh Pestinium, I think is what that's called. I got to get some weeding done around these guys. The, the temperatures, even being late in the summer, have been terrible. Terrible. Now, if it would like to keep doing this into the winter so I don't have to pay high heating oil, I'll take it. But right now, this sucks. Because I got so much crap to do and weeding and everything. And I can't do it because the sun is just too brutal. But yeah. This is doing really got really well, guys. I forget which kind of sedum it is. It's a type of firecracker sedum, and it's doing so well. Nothing else here or here, guys. Now, we did have some columbine over there that was coming back, and it had, like, one bloom and gone. That's what a lot of plants did. They had one bloom, gone. So, and then they had plenty of um, resources for it, too. Now, speaking of one blooming gone, check it out, guys. Here's our creeping phlox. One little bloom. It might have a late season bloom and then be, boop, gone. Remember when I ripped all this out, guys? Look at it. It fell back in. It's not. You can't keep up with it. The, um, what am I thinking of? The, uh, oh gosh, regular grass wants to overtake it so bad. So, going to have to be a lot of stuff done very shortly. I still need to get over here with this, guys. But there's something interesting I wanted you guys to look at. Look at this. We got little tiny blossoms of some sort coming up. I want to say I think it's getting prepared for next year. So, Miss Debbie, remember you've got one just like this? It's probably got some bloom showing up on it. Went to town getting in between the boxwoods today, guys. Another one. Uh, the uh, Wagila. Um which I'm probably maligning that so bad. Uh, it's definitely got some blooming going on. The flowers are opening up. It's looking very pretty. It's got this raspberry that wants to overtake it a little bit, but they mix well together in my opinion, especially if this would just get some red raspberries on it. So I'm leaving it be. Yeah, too much of this filled back in. Yeah, it's nice to see some butterflies out there. The monarchs are still around. That's very, very good for me, guys. Look at this, guys. This remember we just looked at this not too long ago this is the season where everything is putting its energy into growth now no more blooms but just look at it the leaves are starting to turn on the top a little bit 
and it got some really superior growth out of it. So I'm very happy about that. That was the first chance I had to look at that today. Yeah, we've got stuff growing out like crazy here, guys. The sun rain combination was bad when it came to weeds, but as far as growth goes, everything in here is looking pretty, uh, pretty good. A lot of stuff came back for a second bloom. Um, nothing in the back here, though the lambs here is doing good. The bees love all the mint we have. Everything is mixed in with the mint. So like this one down here, we're going to have to do something to keep all the mint from overtaking it. I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to look into it, probably put some mulch down on it. I did buy lots more mulch, folks. Lots more mulch. Um, these are all coming back for a second bloom. This is... Um, uh, speed well I think if I'm not mistaken and both of them have some little purple blooms and some of the more lighter pink ones all coming back and then this one my mother gave me um, which I know the name but I'm gonna stop thinking about it cuz whoo like I said folks taking a lot of energy out of me just to walk because the breeze is nice but the heat's still here it's still 84 degrees right now and the Sun is baking me with no remorse so and the um, honeysuckle guys did really well too. However, it started a lot of these started getting a type of there was too much coming and going for rain stop, rain stop, and so they started getting a type of um, it's like a dusty mildew on them, and they really could have used some TLC. But I think this is almost going by, and the reason we can almost tell is because there's the berries, and I think that might be how it reproduces. That it will be dropping any time. You guys can see we have a lot of those. They're really gorgeous. We'll uh, give them some background. Very, very pretty, um, and that means that it's into its final stages before it goes. Now we have this wild strawberry, guys. It's hard to spot, but it is here. See you guys, Got that beautiful little flower. And then we got some wild berries that are growing up here. I gotta come in and weed around if I wanna do anything. I have no choice. Too much of this needs some severe weeding. And as I said guys, weather is my enemy. I am not getting the weather I need to do this unless I would like to either have heat stroke or something else just like heat exhaustion. So I did as much as I could when it was later and the breeze was coming up and that's all we did. And the thing is now I'm losing light because it gets dark in about an hour, actually a little under an hour because it's, um, it's pretty much after six. And the thing is, is that we just aren't going to get anything done tonight. Well, I'll show you guys what I was talking about, what I'm going to do. One of the things I want to show you as I walk through here, guys, is check it out. It finally, it finally came out. We finally had our little butterfly. He came out within the last couple days. I've been checking on it continuously. I did not get around to checking it yesterday. And a lot of the days it's been raining and there's been other things coming up that have not allowed me to be able to do it. So I'm sorry, but it does show that since it is that transparent color, it means it hatched with no problem. So we have another brand new monarch butterfly out here and I'm so happy guys. Now the spiders are messing around in here and they're gonna have to be careful because the wind's gonna come in from a bad storm tomorrow, which we're hoping to get out and do some more tomorrow, but I gotta do some, I gotta help my mother out a little bit at the church, which I'm more than happy to do that, even if they didn't do me the favor of working on my car, I still would have volunteered to help out. Because that's the way God made me, folks. And uh, I recommend, uh, you know, having a good spiritual gift is, is, it is a gift. So for others and for yourself. Now here's how the moss is doing, guys. It's actually growing a little bit of stuff here from the dirt we put on here, but it's doing really well. Everything's doing really well back here. Um, it, contrary to what this looks like, it's actually, oh, you guys probably can't see it. It's got some light greenage in it. It's actually doing really well. I got in here with the mower and of course, oh, I didn't notice, but the, this is probably not doing so hot. Um, I got to run the um, sprinkler a little bit more back here and set it to not try to water that. It's almost done for the season anyway. And just water this area because I think all this needs, well, actually, as I just said, we're going to get some rain tonight. So it, it actually won't matter that much, guys. And it'll be good. I got in here, like I said, in mode. Um, we had some caterpillars. We had some little fuzzy orange caterpillars. I had one down here, but he moved along. And that's I'm happy as long as he didn't move into the path of where I was going to mow. And that worked out good. Um, but we'll see if we can look for any guys because I'm just about done. There's not much else to show you. Except uh, we're going to do one final thing and show you guys what the new plants are that I grabbed and rescued 
um, from the local Walmart because they had been there for weeks. But right now, yes, all the caterpillars, they, I exposed them by mowing, not intentionally, mind you. And, um, they ran back for cover. So unfortunately, I don't think I see any. I would have had to do it right as I ran into them. It's unfortunate. Um, I did find out by, guy, by the way, guys, remember we used to see Chippy over here? Most likely he got nailed by one of the neighborhood wild cats. We have... Um, a mother cat up by my folks' house who has been getting uh, raw animals and killing them for the kittens to get them used to hunting for themselves. And it looks like she might have actually brought Chippy. It looked like a, she brought back a chipmunk, and it looked just like Chippy. So she might actually come over here. And my mother doesn't think she'd come this far. Mm, you never know. Mother cats can go, they don't, try not to go too far away from the kittens, but something had a kitten up here, and I've spoken about it before, so she might have brought them out here hunting. It's possible. It really is possible. Now, it could be other ones. You never know, because there could be, there's wild cats all over the neighborhood, guys. Some people are very irresponsible with their cats. Let's just put it that way. So, we might have lost Chippy because of somebody needing him for lunch, and we found that the mother cat wasn't always bringing back the kills right away. Sometimes she would wait a bit for some reason, so that could be why his body disappeared later on, and she might have caught him as he was coming out of the hole in the ground. Who, who really knows? I'm just telling you guys what some new information I found out. Um, yeah, all my caterpillars dove for cover. This area here, guys, was just filled with the orange little fuzzy caterpillars. Oh, here's one. So at least we can show you guys. Hey, little buddy. You mind if we take a picture of you? Here he is. Hey, little buddy. I'm sorry. There he is. He's a cute little caterpillar. I don't mess with the ones with long hairs because you never know if the hairs are toxic. Usually they'll just give you a rash. In here, guys, we've seen the tussock milkweed caterpillars um i wish i could show you a picture of those but i have to go find a um milkweed that has it up high enough because i really can't bend in there but before we go check on that one last thing guys here they are spruce dwarf spiral evergreens um i'm gonna say it the way it's on the label Get the nice spiral pattern but you have to keep at it if you want to keep the spiral i'm looking for a place to put those i'm thinking about here and here and making them driveway markers for the but i i haven't fully decided and i'm not getting them in today like i'd like to because just like i said guys just walking around talking to you guys is a lot for me yes i'm out of shape um i don't deny that but a lot of it is because i just cannot seem to unburden myself of the heat even with the cool air it still feels you can still feel the weight of the air if that air was to stop moving it would be bad really bad because i actually experienced it this afternoon so yeah i don't see any tussock caterpillars and i didn't show you guys the front because the caterpillars on the front guys most of the monarch ones have gone and they've disappeared so i think they're pretty much done for the season so we'll have to wait and see what happens i haven't seen any other cocoons around but i'll keep my eyes out it's just I, nice to show you guys that the cocoon over there that we were keeping a close eye on it did finally come out of its chrysalis stage i had been keeping a very close eye on it but with the last couple days i have been busy with other things and it's the weather as you guys have seen me because i complained about the grass has been crappy at times and it has not exactly been the most uh welcoming to take off and go behind the house and check on our little buddy so but at least we know nothing happened to him other than he did come out of his cocoon hallelujah that is a great thing it's nice to have another one that hopefully will come back next year and if it was the right gender we'll have a um group of babies in the milkweed that is definitely proper getting around my property quite a bit so but yeah that's it for me guys uh there's my new trees and i want to get in along with it. you guys know about all the other stuff hopefully we're going to get them in but this day has not gone anywhere near what i would like i would like to get outside and do some stuff but the sun goes down much earlier now which with how hot it's been today is not necessarily a bad thing however if you guys look around we barely have any cloud cover we have some wispies but there's been almost no shade oppressive heat my, my own parents said it was bad um and the thing is it's just it wasn't a good day to be outside it wasn't a safe day it wasn't a good day to be outside so i was not i did come out like i said in mow because that had to be done these, these the mowing had to be done here but you guys can see 
Got a lot of mulch, a lot of mulch, not a lot of new dirt. Stuff is cheap at the local Walmart. So I've been going over there and we hope to get some of this down and that will keep a lot of this grass. If we do everything right, this will keep all this grass from overtaking stuff. We just have to do it the right way and we have to use chemicals, unfortunately, in between the walkway and we have to do all this stuff, all this stuff. So it's gonna be a long end to the season. That's all I can say, guys. Got a lot of pruning like that one with the weeping cherry blossom, lots of pruning to do. It's nice to see that I can actually see where the sprouts are coming up off to the side of that one. That's getting some growth in it too. That's really something nice to see. But for right now, guys, that's it for me. I am going to go back inside and sit down, which is probably not any better than getting walking around, but walking, talking, carrying the camera, uh, and then all the lawn mowing I've done, it, it just wore me down, everybody. Um, even with the breeze out, which thank the Lord, I just am, I don't know. Uh, probably because I didn't get enough activity today before I came out to do the walk around. Um, and that's what happens when you basically have other things that you want to do inside. So, so unfortunately, I don't think I got enough activity. And I think now that I am getting activity, it's not, not faring me well. So, but I feel like I got some crap down my shoes. So I'm going to go fix that guys. I hope you have a great rest of your week. And I do hope that we will see you tomorrow.